guys, welcome back to my channel. Lady Survival here. It's been like two months since I've made a video. Pretty long for me. Like, I mean, like, I usually do come back after like a couple weeks or a month ish, and I'm like, oh, it's been a while, but I feel like it's really been a long time. I'm playing so much World of Warcraft, like, more than usual. Like, I'm already a World of Warcraft fiend and has been have been for the last 14 years of my life, um, but ever since I met my now fiancé on World of Warcraft, it's like what I thought was a lot of World of Warcraft time has now doubled. So I went from having like, I would say like over the last 14 years, my typical like WoW day where it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna play WoW all day would be like nine hours long with like sometimes I would go hardcore and do like a 15 hour day and now it's like every single day I have time off, it's like a 16 hour day. And like literally any time that I'm at home, I'm on World of Warcraft uh, for every waking minute uh, until I have to go to bed because I have to work the next day or something. So yeah, um, I've had no time and um, because my fiance and I are long distance, it's like our only way to like bond and spend time together. So it's like extra important that we play. So it's really, really hard to be like, oh, like I'm going to take a break and like make a video. Like uh, I just want to be on WoW with my fiance every single moment of the day. So it's been really hard to take the time to stop and make a video. Um, but he had to go out and run just like a couple of errands, so I had like less than an hour to make a video, so I was like, I need to do it right now. And then another thing is that like usually if I'm just at home the whole day, like I had today off, I usually won't even bother doing my makeup or anything. So like even if I do have the time to do it, it's like, oh, well I didn't do my makeup today, so now I'm like not ready to do a video. But I was ready to do one today, so I figured... Since I have the time, I'll just sit down and do like a quick little like, hey, I'm still doing YouTube because I've had a lot of people asking me that on um, my YouTube comments or DMing me on Instagram or commenting on Instagram like, when are you going to do it? Like, I really actually enjoy your content. Like, it's been a long time and like, I still find it crazy that there's actually people who actually like, I don't know why I said actually twice, like my videos because it's like, I don't really do anything. I literally just like sit in front of a camera and like do this just like this rambly stuff like I mean I guess when I do Killstar videos that could be considered like something like it's actually like like a topic like I'm actually doing something like hey like I'm showing you what I bought and trying it on but this is like why would you want to watch this I don't know um but I'm here um and then I've been doing my reaction videos a bit too which have been really really fun but um also really cringy because um I suck at doing reactions in the sense that like I either, I don't know, it's like I either talk too much or like I screw up like the audio, like something's always wrong. It's like the mic, you can't hear me talking because my microphone is screwed up or it's like the audio on the YouTube video is too loud and you can't hear me talking or it's like, oh, the audio on the YouTube video is too quiet and all you can hear is me talking. Like, I don't know, I'm not a very technolo technological person so I really suck at uh, doing reaction videos but I did uh, a month or so ago buy the proper equipment now so I'm really excited for like something new to come out for me to react to. Um, I guess I could have reacted to the Nihilotha, Rathian, Nazoth cinematic stuff but I just like didn't get around to it because I was playing too much WoW but I have a Blue Yeti microphone now, I have a pop filter thing for that and I also have a ring light which I'm using right now so I don't know if you can see like shadows or anything because of it, um, I just like put it over there. Um, because it's dark in my room, so hopefully it's helping a little bit at least. In terms of like making videos over at my desk for reaction videos, I'm really excited to be able to like have my ring light and actually have good lighting and have a good microphone and like I not have to worry about my microphone screwing up because before it was like something was always wrong and I never knew like what I was doing, but now it's just like should be good to go. So anyways, um, yeah, this is just kind of like an update video to let you guys know I'm alive and I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, in my, I believe my Killstar haul, I mentioned that I'm engaged now, obviously, if you're following me at all, you would know that, because it's like all I talk about now is my freaking fiancé, he's so amazing. Um, but in case you don't know, basically I met, uh, someone on World of Warcraft who was like a follower on Instagram for a while, and we started, like, playing WoW together because I needed help with, like, an achievement. Uh, on WoW for a mount and we were friends on battle.net because I usually like add people from Instagram like hey like feel free to add me if you play WoW and there was like no one online except for him so I just like whispered him and I was like hey I need help with something can you come and like 
help me kill this guy and like do the achievement and stuff and he did and like he was really cool and like we were just like talking the whole time and like I find like when I get help with like stuff in WoW there's a lot of like just really impatient people and like if you screw up and if it's like oh no like we have to try it again like something screwed up like they get mad at you or something at least in my experience so it was amazing because he was so chill like I didn't really know anything about him but like we had to redo it like so many times because we kept like not getting enough stacks for me to complete the achievement and I was like no like we have to reset it again like I'm so sorry for wasting your time and he was like oh my god like I don't mind at all like we can do this all night and he was just like so like friendly and funny and like just amazing and like we were really just having a good time and then he ended up being like my best wow friend ever like we played together like every single day for hours from that day forward and um and then like a month later we started voice chatting because it was like hey like we play a lot and like it's kind of hard to like run dungeons and like do achievements unless we're like talking so like maybe we should start like talking on discord and then we ended up like falling in love for each other hardcore once we started like actually talking and I was still with my now ex-boyfriend at the time who I was with for like getting close to two years at this point and things like just weren't good between us. He was not affectionate at all. I was not getting anything out of it. He basically ignored me when I went over to his house and like he was just, it was just not a good time. He was a heavy alcoholic and I wanted out but I didn't know how to leave and like I just didn't want to be alone and then I met Derek on WoW and like things were just amazing but it was scary because it's like but he's so far away and like I don't know what he's like in real life like should I break up with Jamie and try to be with him like because I didn't want to be like unfaithful to Jamie and be like oh like I'm talking to someone on the side like lol like that's not who I am so like it was kind of there was a little bit of like there was a three month period like from Derek and I met in July on July 20th and we like played WoW as best friends up until um, August 14th and then that was the first day that we voice chatted together and when we voice chatted together for the first time that's when things like really started getting hardcore intense and it was like oh my god we're like falling in love like this isn't good like I'm in a relationship but like I can't help it like there was just such a strong connection between us and like Derek was super super respectful and he was like I don't want you to like be disrespectful of your relationship and like he wasn't pushing me or anything like he was so good about it and everything and I tried to break up with Jamie a bunch but it was every time he was like no like I promise I'll change and like I'll do better and like I'll try to like be more affectionate and like he never would be but I keep being like okay like we'll try um and there were so many times where like Derek and I kind of like I would pull away from him and I'd be like no like this is so wrong like I can't talk to you anymore like I need you to block me on everything and like please don't contact me like you're ruining like my relationship with Jamie but like in the back of my mind I knew that like regardless of Derek being in my life things weren't good with Jamie so there was a lot of like back and forth kind of like oh like should I shouldn't I like I don't know who to be with I don't know what to do like I'm so confused I want Derek but he's so far away and Jamie's right here but he's not a good boyfriend and like there was just a lot of stuff going on and in the end I ultimately realized that Derek was everything that I wanted and I figured like let's just go for it. So I broke up with Jamie, thank god, because like oh my god, awful, awful situation. So uh, yeah, and we've just been like ever since July uh, 20th, even though we weren't like, like together at that point, we've known each other for eight months now and it's just been like the whole thing has been the most amazing experience of my life, but especially once I finally did break up with Jamie, which was on like October 14th, I believe, and then Derek and I like officially were like, okay, we can be together now, like no more holding back because while I was still with Jamie, we were all obviously trying to be like respectful of the fact that I was still with someone because I'm a very faithful person. I don't like to do anything like weird like that. so. Once we got to the point where it's like, oh my god, like we can actually have each other now, like there's no more holding back, like things were already intense between us, but it just, poof, it just blew up at that point and got really, really, really amazing. And then at that point we had to plan to meet each other. So uh, November 14th to something, uh, we, I went to go see him. So I flew all the way out to, I live in Canada and I flew from Toronto to Boise, Idaho to go and meet Derek and oh my god it was just everything so amazing like we were kind of nervous like what if we don't like each other in real life like you never know because it's like people are different in real life but it was just like immediately like oh my god this is like 10 million times more than what we could have expected or wanted and it was just like the most 
amazing week of my life and he proposed to me literally on the second day and I said yes and like we just we knew and like it sounds so crazy and like I know like my parents were pissed like when I came home they were all like what the hell are you doing like you don't even know this person but I was trying to explain to them like like we just know like this is we actually genuinely feel like we have like a soulmate twin flame thing going on I don't know if you guys believe in that or not but like it is insane like I can't even put into words like the amount of stuff that has happened between us that is just like like daily like we have things where it's like is this actually real like is this happening like we d I, I'll have to try to make a video like talking about like the whole soulmate thing but like it is intense and there's stuff that proves to us every day that we are genuinely soulmates and is I'm just so in love and like no doubt this is who I was meant to be with so I'm like the happiest person in the world I've been like so happy every single day since I've been with him and uh, I've gone to visit him again in January so we've had two in real life visits and we are so sure that this is what we want and we talk all day every day like for every waking moment of the day like we're constantly texting each other like huge huge paragraphs all day and like just like sharing what like what we're doing in the day and like sending each other pictures and like like we talk and communicate every single day and he's the first person that I've been with who would genuinely appreciates me like I I guess what I had in my mind is like like what I perceived to be love was far from wrong uh, because I am mind blown at the way that he treats me like I could cry literally like when he's talking to me on voice chat like there's so many times where like I, I feel like I'm gonna cry because it's so intense the way that he treats me so I'm just so 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 happy and I can't wait to marry him and stuff so that's kind of what I've been up to I've just been spending a lot of time uh, with my fiance on World of Warcraft and like planning trips and like dealing with um, our visa paperwork because I have to like move to the United States so there's a bunch of like paperwork that has to be done and like there's a long waiting process for it to happen and then we're gonna have to plan like moving so there's just my whole life for the last like eight months has just been focused around him and his life has been focused around me and everything is so amazing and everything I've ever wanted and I'm so so happy and so excited and I really am so excited for you guys to like share in the journey and stuff because once I move there we're pretty much gonna be like full-time like twitch streamers not right away because like I have to kind of like get settled and then there's a period once I like move there I'm not allowed to work for a while and like yeah but like eventually we're hoping to get to a point where we can like quit our jobs and just focus on like YouTube and streaming on twitch and selling merch and like he does stuff with like jewelry and like um, selling rocks and crystals and he wants to sell t-shirts and like glitch art and like a bunch of stuff so we're hoping to basically become like social media people and like run our own business together and stuff and then eventually open up a cat sanctuary maybe like 10 years down in the future because we both love cats like hardcore like intense so yeah I'm just I'm the happiest person I've ever been in my entire life and that's where where I've been I've just been on WoW and spending time with him so I hope that you guys understand but I will try to get back into YouTube a lot more and everything soon. Um, I have a Killstar haul video I do have to do at some point. I kind of wanted to do that today but he's going to be home soon so I don't really have time to do like a try on haul video because I got to get back on WoW so I figured it'd be easier to just kind of like sit down and give you guys an update so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my video and I will hopefully talk to you guys again soon. Bye!